Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to set up a two sensor ATO function for your GHL standalone dosing pump. The steps we'll take in this video will involve using the GHL Connect app. For this setup, you will need the following. You'll need an available dosing pump head, any combination of two GHL sensors, either float or optical, two matching level sensor brackets, a level sensor assembly rod, and a PLLY splitter cable for connecting two sensors to a single level port. To get started, we're first going to connect the two sensors to the back of the GHL doser. Take each sensor and connect them to the Y ends of the splitter cable. Then connect the tail end of the splitter to the green port on the back of the doser. This port will be labeled as level 1 and 2. Next, open up the GHL Connect app and connect to your standalone doser. Once connected, press the menu icon at the top left and go to the Level Settings page. Select an unused control circuit and then set the Operation Mode to any of the two dual sensor ATO options. Select Min-Max Control if you would like to use each sensor as a minimum and maximum point for your water level control. With this option, Sensor 1 is the maximum point and Sensor 2 is the minimum point. The moment sensor 2 detects a low water level, the assigned dosing pump will turn on and continue running until the water level reaches sensor 1. Select ATO with two sensors if you would like to use two sensors to register the same water level. With this option, the assigned dosing pump head will only turn on when both sensors detect a low water level. Once you've selected your operation mode, type in a description for this function, then set your desired maximum on time. This max on time feature is the fail safe for this function. If for any reason your assigned ATO sensor does not respond within the allowed time, the fail safe will automatically shut down the assigned pump to prevent an overflow or flood. For example, by setting this feature to 5 minutes, you allow the assigned ATO pump to run for up to 5 minutes. If this time limit expires, the dosing pump will trigger the failsafe and activate an alarm. When an alarm is activated, the doser's LED indicator light will begin flashing red. For this feature, we recommend you set a time that will give the assigned pump enough time to dispense the needed amount of ATO water. Once your maximum on time is set, select if you'd like to have the alarm automatically reset after the failsafe has been triggered. With this option selected, the alarm will automatically be reset once the assigned ATO sensor detects normal water level. If you'd like for the ATO to be always on, leave this option selected. If you'd rather run the ATO on certain days or times, disable this option and select the timer number that will be responsible for determining the on-off times of this function. The next step will be to select the sensor number that will be used for this task. Since the sensors are connected to the level 1 and 2 port, select sensor 1 and 2. Once that's done, press save, then press the back arrow icon at the top left of your screen. If you wish to set a specific reaction time for your ATO sensors, you can do so by selecting the sensors tab. Here you will be able to set a delayed reaction time for each sensor. By default, all sensors are set to react after 1 second. Now that the ATO function is set up, it's time to assign and configure the dosing pump that will be responsible for this task. Press the menu icon at the top left of your screen and select Dosing Pumps. Select the dosing pump you wish to use for ATO purposes. Type in a description for this pump, select Container is Emptied, then scroll down and type in the capacity of your ATO reservoir. If you wish to trigger an alarm once the fluid level drops below the minimum level, activate this feature by pressing the switch icon. Once that's done, press refill container and enter the amount of milliliters currently in your ATO reservoir. The last step will be to assign the ATO function to this pump. In the Pumps Reacts 2 section, select Level Control, then select the control circuit number you used when you created the ATO function. Earlier in the video, since we created this function on control circuit number 1, we would select 1. If we had used control circuit number 2, we would have selected 2. 
set the pump to fill water ATO only, then press save. Your dosing pump is now assigned to the ATO task. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any questions about this video or any GHL product, feel free to post on our GHL support forum or send us an email for one-on-one -on -one support. We've placed the links and contact info in the description box below. Until next time folks, take care.